Can righteousness truly open gates? Can faithfulness withstand the trials and tribulations of life? These are questions that have lingered in the hearts of many, and today we delve into a story that seeks to unfold these mysteries. Once upon a time, there was a nation, a nation righteous in its ways seeking to enter the gates of the Lord. These were not just any gates but gates that held the promise of salvation, gates that echoed the whispers of righteousness. Open the gates, they implored, so a righteous nation may enter. This was the gate of the Lord, a gate that only the righteous could pass through. This was a gate not of wood or stone but of faith and righteousness. And it was here at these gates that the nation found their faith tested. They were disciplined severely by the Lord. Yet in their discipline they found not despair but a strengthening of their faith. The Lord disciplined me severely, they acknowledged, but he has not given me over to death. Even in the face of adversity their faithfulness never wavered. For the Lord was their God a beacon of hope in their darkest hours. He is my God, they declared, and I will praise him my Father's God, and I will exalt him. And so they stood at the gates, their voices ringing out in unity. Open to me the gates of righteousness, they cried, that I may enter and give thanks to the Lord. Their faith resonated, their righteousness shone, and the gates of the Lord opened to welcome them. In their journey they found their salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song, he has become my salvation, they sang. Their story, etched in the verses of Exodus 15, 2 and Isaiah 26, 2, is a testament to the power of righteousness and faith. In summary, this tale of faith and righteousness teaches us three vital lessons. First, the gates of righteousness open only to those who are truly faithful. Second, though the Lord's discipline may be severe, it serves to strengthen our faith, not to lead us to death. And third, the Lord is a source of strength and salvation, a beacon of hope to be praised and exalted. These are the truths that guide a righteous nation towards the gates of the Lord, towards salvation.